to another episode of Sitting with Sis. We have our usual suspects, Miss Wood, Sister Little, and this week's guest of honor is <laughs> Sister Dunn. And here we are, Sitting with Sis. Uh, and as we introduce, Sister Dunn is our guest today. Uh, and we have some very interesting questions. Okay, what was your first job, Sister Dunn? My first job was actually a receptionist in an oil Sis? And actually, I'd like to be the receptionist in some somewhere <laughs> in a sacred heart school. <laughs> I think it would be a fun job. It is a fun job because you see everybody. I know you didn't ask for all no, no. That's we, we like that. We like we that. Like it. We like extra stuff. Sis, you have to answer yours. All right. I my first job was in high school, and I had to work, of course. And um, I worked at the sewage and water board in Jefferson. Um, no Irish way. Yes, I did. I filed. <laughs> I I was a file clerk. I guess I told you what to call me. Okay. All right. That was it. Miss Wood. Um. I had so many jobs. I, I can't, I'm trying to think which one was the first. It was high school. Um, my family had a meat packing company. It was called Shot yes. and Company. That's right. And they had they we sold all kind of meat, ham, bacon, chili, and so everyone in the family. It, it's kind of like my dad made all of us work there at one time or another. And so, um, but, but this was sort of the end of the company's life, and, and there wasn't much business. So mostly at the job, I ate donuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a good one now. Let's see what we do with this. Um, I'm going to start with you, Miss Wood. Uh, what's the worst trend of fad you've ever taken part in? A trend or fad? You mean like to do something? Yeah, like you would, like fads of a, maybe of a decade or something. Um, oh, I, I don't know if this is, I'm not sure if this is what you're, where you're trying to go with this, but permed hair. Yes, exactly. In the 80s, in the 1980s, I mean, everybody that was cool had permed hair. Like, I don't, I wonder if the chill kids say that this means permanent wave. Like, Imagine every piece of your hair looks like macaroni, like crazy curly hair. And I loved it. I thought my hair was so beautiful. Even though, even when the trend was kind of over, I continued Kept doing to go it. get a perm. Yeah, it was fun. Mm. I wasn't really into trends too much. But having, having you say that, I did, um, I did never colored my hair, which is pretty obvious, uh, <laughs> but I did, um, and I can't remember the word for it, I guess it was like highlighted or something, uh, when I was in high school. Frosted? Yeah, frosted, that, thank you. And my sister, um, who always colored her hair, convinced my father that Back then. 
and of course, <laughs> now you can I think it's still the thing you're supposed to do. And of course, you know, I was in trouble with the principal, so of course I was in trouble with my mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I did the peroxide thing too. Yeah. yeah. It's always and it's not good for your hair. Yeah. I yeah. know in college once we did um, the sunbathing thing with the. Um, whatever. Oh, I can't it's like tinfoil looking yeah, yeah. reflectors. It didn't work. Baby oil with baby oil. Oh, baby oil. Uh -huh. Right. That's not good either. No. No. It's yeah, because it only burns. once and it really didn't help me. But I burn anyway. So <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah. 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 It really wasn't um, a success. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Sister Dunn, I'm going to start with you. Is there something that people consistently ask you to help with? Uh, teaching religion class. <laughs> <laughs> um, writing. Writing. Um, sometimes it's writing uh, something. Like I wrote something for the Greenwich, um, I don't know, online thing. Um, that, does, I, that sounds like I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, hello. Bye. 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 Well, you wrote a book. You wrote a book. The book. One, of one, of my nine, one of my nines. Yeah, the book is coming out soon. This other one. Um, you say it so casually. That's, that's so, so cool. I know it's that. not casual. I mean, I could go on and on about it, but I'm not. Well, what is it about? It's about the lady that started the network here in the United States that has, of course, spread around the world. But um, this woman was not. So people go to you for writing. Well, not all the time, but yeah. <laughs> all right. You must be a very fine writer. I am. People, I'm just people am. would never come to me for writing. Um, I think that people consistently. Um, I think any time I can be useful to help out with physical things or or um, or. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm always available to help people. That, let me just say that. I, I do, um, if people ask for help, I'm readily available to help people with anything they want. Aww. I can vouch for her because my classroom's next to Maureen's classroom, Sister Little's classroom. And ever since I had been at Sacred Heart, I always run next door. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It's true. We never say no. I know. I always ask for advice too. She advice. gives it advice. And for just if to vent a little, you're always mm -hmm. like you seem very open. Yeah, people do come to me. You know? Yeah. 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 Mr. Williams. Yeah. 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 Yeah
That's so nice of you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I always appreciate your plants. Oh, look at this sweet moment. Have a good one. I like your What was it? Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> oh, anyway, yes, yes, I, I do believe in aliens. And I, um, I mean, I've heard so many things about aliens, and I believe all of it. But I believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sister John. Well, I guess really and truly, I would go with Nicole with the thing about who are we to think we're the only people in the universe. Now, I don't think the aliens are little green men mm -hmm. with um, cute and little horns, but um, <laughs> I do think that we probably aren't alone in this universe. I have to agree. I, I don't know what an alien looks like. I, I hate when people call people from other countries aliens. Mm. That drives me crazy. Yeah, that's, that's they are not aliens. aliens because that word doesn't really have a positive So you heard it here first. They all believe in aliens. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, Ms. Crow. Oh, for sure. Crow. Definitely. 100%. Okay. Who built the pyramids? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Have your priorities changed in the last 10 years? Now, this takes thought. Anybody jump, can jump in. Have, have your priorities changed in the last 10 years? Yes. I was 20. Wow. I was a little kid. Yeah, you're a baby. I say yes, mine has. You know, mine, I, I feel like I'm going towards the very end of almost, I'm almost at the last quarter of my, of my life if I would live to be 100. And I think that my priority is I better get to heaven and I better do what it takes to get to heaven. <laughs> Amen. Well, stuff in the last 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I bet you've been working on getting to heaven all Well, no. I mean, I, I've been thinking about it because I think the the older you get, the, your, um, your destiny. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Your destiny is is before you it's closer and closer okay i don't know if my priorities have changed um i think you know even if you take the last uh, month i think we've come to a lot of realizations um and i i think that what's important is uh, what sister little is saying about it. Uh, family and friends and um, you know in the first part of life I think I was really concerned with what I did and that kind of achievements and now it's not that at all so maybe my priorities have changed you know it's more about being who I am I, you know I, people say this about me, and I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> people say, oh, Nicole, you, it doesn't change, you know, like, I've, I've, I've kind of been the same, the same way, for better or for worse, all along. Um, and in terms of, I think, you know, my day-to-day -day life, I could certainly, you know, prioritize better, but I... I think I'm blessed in that my my priority, you know, my priorities have always kind of been the same, and, and you know, faith has a lot to do with that. You know, I'm very, very, very lucky. I grew up, you know, with parents that were so such a good example of how to, you know, live live life as a as devout as devout Catholics, 
And um, so I had that example, and it was kind of like whether we wanted to or not, you know, we were going to be, we were going to go to church, and, um, but but it really stuck, and so that that's always been a big priority, just, I don't know if I live my faith the best way that I can, but it's always on my mind, at least, and then fam, family's so very, very dear to me, and always has been, and I mean, I guess in a way, um, and and then teaching, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's it's right up there on the list and friendship. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, But maybe when I get older, I'm gonna start working on getting to heaven. <laughs> I bet you're doing it now, too, whether you know it or not. Okay, here's our last question. What's the next exciting event you have coming up? <laughs> Uh, and when the, uh, I mean now, like with this, uh, how about yes. lifting of quarantine? I would agree with Nicole. Yes. Definitely. Being able to go, I don't know where, but <laughs> somewhere. Go to a restaurant. Yeah. I'm dying to go to a restaurant. That's what I want to do, is go out and eat at a restaurant. Well, it's going to be different because you're going to have to wear your mask. Yeah. Whatever the going to do. Oh, you. How are you going to eat with a mask? We're not going to be able to, but you know, the thing is, you're going to have to take it off. But, um, you know, I'll do it. And I, I think that people say, let's hurry up and get out of it. I don't want to hurry up and get out of the quarantine. No, I agree. Because I feel like that it, it's the best thing for us now. And, you know, people that criticize our governor, just let it take it easy because they open. Mississippi and the beaches in Mississippi and one of the kids went and said it was horrible because there were so many people that it was absolutely horrible. Mm. So mm. anyway, I don't want to go where I'm going to be. It's, it's going to be a big crowd. That's one thing I don't want no. to do. Let's go where there's going to be a big crowd. It seems like it'll be so weird to go in a big crowd and feel nervous about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had to go pick up medicine the other day at Walgreens, and I think I told Maureen this. I couldn't believe, I could not believe the number of people. Uh-huh. And I, I have to go, I have a um, an eye doctor appointment. I had to look at Maureen because I wanted to see her. No, um, <laughs> I wanted to see if I could see. Um, I was so excited when they said you can come. I mean, it was not that, well, I do need to go to the eye doctor, but it was the fact that I could get out, you know, right. I, and I have a, a reason. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I don't want to just run around New Orleans. I don't want to do that yet. And I agree with Maureen, to open it up too fast is not good. No. Miss Wood, do you have anything coming up? Well, I do have a birthday. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and I don't know what I'll do for that yet. I have something exciting that's coming up. Uh, um, my, a friend of ours invited us to go sailing. So oh, I'm kind of excited. On oh, Lake Pontchartrain. On Lake Pontchartrain. Oh, that will be on Friday. Oh, that's great. In the nice. evening. Oh, so maybe the sunset. Lovely. I know. I'm excited. Oh, that's exciting. You know what I'm excited about? On Friday, we get our pizza appreciation. Oh, yeah. We do? Yeah. yeah. We get pizza. Yeah. Where, how does that work? Well, you have to. Have to go on the uh, on the, the Ooh, we have to order it before noon. You've got to order it. Yes, yeah. today. Right. Okay, we all remind. Yeah, let's do it right after you this. Order two right. I mean, no, you get a choice. Cheese, I love cheese or pepperoni. This is always exciting. Right? So we have that to look forward to. Free pizza on Friday. Yay. Okay, with that, yay. I guess that's a wrap, huh? Yep, that's a wrap. <laughs> See y'all next week. Bye. Bye.